Hi guys, my name is Thomas, your wine tuber, and today we're gonna learn the six ways to make sparkling wines. So let's get started. Charmat or Tang method was invented by Federico Martinotti in 1895 and then perfected by Eugene Charmat in 1907. This method is divided by few easy steps. Primary fermentation first when the still wine is produced and then wine is transferred to stainless steel tanks when the sugar and yeast is added in order to create the bubbles. Then wine is filtered Sugar is added again to create the perfect level of sweetness and then wine is bottled under the pressures. The best examples of Tango Charmat method are Prosecco or Lambrusco. The carbonation method is quite simple, cheap and easy to do. As the name says, you carbonating the wine by injecting the carbon dioxide, like a soda. PETNAT stands for Petillon Naturel and this is the oldest sparkling winemaking technique called Ascenstral. This technique was invented by monks in Limoux, France in 1531. PETNAT is made by the only single fermentation. Wine is bottled while it's still fermenting. Fermentation continues inside the bottle by trapping CO2. This is why your pet nut is sparkling and the best examples of pet nut you can find in the Loire Valley in France are also in Poland. Transfer method is a hybrid in between tank and traditional method. Primary fermentation takes place in stainless steel tanks. Then wine is transferred into the bottles. Sugar and yeast is added in order to create the bubbles. After a short period of time, wine is emptied into pressurized tanks and then filtered under their pressure, and then finally bottled. This technique is widely used in Australia and also in New Zealand. So, the base wine is transferred to stainless steel tanks and then sugar and yeast is added in order to create the bubbles. Then wine is transferred to another tank where the oak chips are added, Doing this process wine a kind of yeasty and bready character also help to clarify the finished wine. And then wine is transferred to another tank in the purpose of filtration. During the entire process, yeast is continuously added to the wine in the purpose of make fully sparking wine. This is why this technique is called continuous and it's widely used by large producers in Germany, Portugal and Russia. Traditional method, also called Champagne method or method of Classico, was invented by Christopher Merritt in England in 1662 and then perfected by monk Dom Perignon in Champagne region in 1697. The first fermentation normally takes place in stainless steel tanks, but some fine champagne or some fine sparkling wine could be also fermented in oak. Then wine is transferred into the bottle and the solution of yeast and sugar is added in the order to create the bubbles. And then, depending on the appellation, depending on the style of the house, wine is aged for a few months up to even 10 years. I mean, aged inside the bottle. And then, after that period of time, the dead yeast is removed from the bottle and the wine is sweetened. Yes, it's sweetened. And this process is called dosage to make the perfect level of sweetness of your sparkling wine. The best example of traditional methods are champagne, of course. Corpinat or Francia Corta. Thank you for watching, folks. If you like to see more interesting video like this, you know what you do. Don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, my next video will be about Irish wine. Yes, Irish wine actually exists. So, see you next time.